platform using. So there's certain tools. I mean, you, some people use like, an Excel sheet to do your analysis on a particular uh, deal. But uh, I'm using big packets, so it's easier to show it to you guys, right? So uh, those of you guys that haven't seen it, uh, let me go ahead and exit it out. So bigger pockets is biggerpockets.com right here, right? Can you guys see this okay? Yeah. All right, and it's just, you know, it, it's pretty much the largest real estate, I guess, I mean, they started with podcasts and just, you know, now they expand to like, you know, putting a calculator on there and you know, there's all kinds of tools on there um, that you can do for calculators, like calculating rental flips and stuff like that. You know, the education part teaches, you know, gives you videos to learn. Um, all that stuff, but we're just going to do a cal calculation or analysis on this or rental property. Right so you have to be a member in order to access that? Yeah, so if you want to play with it, they give you like, I believe, one or two tries, so you can kind of play with it tonight. So just sign up and you can, play with the, you can kind of play with the, the calculator for one or two deals. And, and then afterwards, they, uh, they make you pay. So uh, that's just how it works. So we'll do a normal deal. This is my first deal, my first uh, real estate deal, and uh, it's actually for rent, uh, actually. So uh, I'll walk you through the whole process, right? So the address is 32456, 3256 Little Quill. This is in uh, Florida, right? Uh, so this is what it looks like uh, right here in the map. Oh, we'll go Zillow. Anybody use Zillow? All right, so this is what it looks like, pretty much, you know. Um, and you can kind of just kind of scroll through, look at uh, the information about this property. Um, and I bought this back in. It doesn't that, right? For this price. <laughs> right? What is it now? Is that pretty good? Yeah. This is how powerful real estate is, guys. I mean, it, it can increase. Uh, I'll show you what or my Airbnb looks like. This is a get rich for sure, guys. This particular industry, right? You do it right. I mean, it takes a lot to screw this up. Because at the end of the day, it takes 30 years and you pay it off, right? And it's, you got your money back, right? So we bought it. This is how much I bought it for. What is it now? So this is the, is the estimate, right? If I go, How I search, guys. This is how I search. I just go to realtor.com and uh, I search a particular area. So, Kissimmee, right? This Kissimmee is over there by the Disney area. Right? This location here is where it's at. This is the area this is where, where I bought that house. You can kind of filter, right? Filter by property type, which is a house. And that particular one right here is a six bedroom, four bath. Oh, I can, all right. So, um, 
that it's going to sum 100. Like Zillow is, as, Zillow is estimating about what? 600? They're going for like 700. A little higher. And this is just like what, what Dave is saying. It's just to keep you guys into a bidding war. So that's just how powerful a will say is. We can get rich, sure, if you know what you're doing. Um, how many guys like that? You guys see that gap? Yeah. So let's do let's start doing the numbers, right? So so let's say, you know, we'll look at my, my small deal right here, right? Right, so this is the address. Um, so when you when you log into their site, uh, I can start a brand new report. And when you go to that calculator, pretty much when you guys log into biggerpox.com, go to tools and the rental property calculator here, and it's, it'll give you that three option, right? Since I'm already logged in, I'm already a member, I go straight right into it, okay? So when you do this, it's just gonna ask you for the street address. Ah, you can see it, right? I'm gonna paste it in there, and it's gonna let me pick the address, right? I'm just gonna pull it up, and uh, go to next. Right, and the purchase price, right? So let's just say the purchase price I bought it for was $38,500. Okay? And then. It has oh, yeah. You can barely see it's so bright in there. And closing costs, right? So, how much, I mean, um, Linda. How much is usually closing cost? About two percent? Uh, that's a good, yeah. Yeah, good right? So two percent, right? If you don't know, it tells you right here, calculating closing cost, right? About we use about one, two percent out of our price, of the purchase price. So we can kind of just do the math, right? So let me see the pull the calculator here so we can I'm not doing this is good math. You guys all like me? Right? 2%, 38,500 times 0.02%. It's like 700? It's like $800 closing cost? Okay, let's go down. For me, this was a cash purchase, right? This is my first deal. I took money out of my credit card and some of my savings. So uh, it wasn't a loan and just made it a cash purchase because at that time, uh, banks weren't offering loans over fifty thousand, or under fifty thousand. Oh. So that's why I took money out of my credit card. So uh, yeah, I just combined a few credit cards together, got that amount, with some cash, and then purchased the cash. So this is what it looks like. So the gross month income, right? So the gross month income at that time was like what? These uh, we're probably charging eight hundred. I don't remember, 800 for this amount, for this back in 2010. How do you figure that out, Paul? Uh, where, which area you invest in? Is there a calculator for that also? Like you, yeah, so back it? then, we were using Craigslist. Everybody know the Craigslist? Yeah. yeah, the Craigslist was big back then. So you can just go on Craigslist and say, hey, I'm listing a house for rent, and you know, you can see what everybody's listing it to in that area. So, um, so if you guys know Craigslist, that's what it is. Because Craigslist is based on a particular town, right? So then it was, if you look at it, the three bedroom, two baths was going for like 800-ish. So um, we put in the, the amount right here, right? Uh, 850, right? So you go to expense, right? Property tax around that time. Jeez, I don't know if I can go back that far. Uh, uh, Zill has that. Yeah, I can't go back that far. Uh, but we can, I kind of say it was like almost 1500 Let's go back. That's about 1500 for property tax. And insurance at that time was probably about 900 so you kind of see, this, this is kind of, we're just kind of going through expenses at this point. You got your income and then your expenses, and then we go to like repair and maintenance, right? You'll see it. So maintenance, um, 
you want to budget to save some money to repair stuff, right? And usually, if you don't know, this, it has a little help here. We use the five to fifteen percent of the monthly rent, right? But if it's like if it's like a brand new house, I mean, you don't have to fix much for it. But um, I mean, right now I fixed everything in that house, so I don't have to fix it. So I'm I'm gonna just do three percent. Well, I kind of want to show it to you like when it was back then, but uh, yeah, let's just do three percent anyway. So if I put three percent down, I'm saving twenty five bucks. You guys see that? Hey, you guys see it? It's perfect. I just can't really see it here. So it's about, you're saving twenty five bucks just for initial repairs along the way, right? And the vacancy is just like you're you're trying to save up for or if somebody moves out so you can have some uh, money to, uh, to protect yourself. So I usually do 3% too. And capital expenditure is like you're fixing the roof or fixing like uh, replacing the stove or something big like the fridge and stuff like that, right? So uh, for me, I usually do all three, 3%, right? So you, you're just budgeting money just to save up. And management, management fees, I'm managing it myself because that was my first rental. You know, just one I can take care of myself, so I'm not going to charge, right? But just see, the tenant pays for. It's not gas. There's no gas in the house. Uh, water sewer, they pay for it themselves. There's no HOA. Anybody know what HOA is? You guys know HOA? Yeah. So there's no HOA in the house. Uh, they're not paying for garbage. Actually, the garbage I'm paying, but it's all incorporated into the property tax. So uh, that's it. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a good deal with all this expense? Yeah, sorry. Let's go ahead and calculate, right? So you're just going to go down and hit finish analysis. And we get, we get numbers, right? So this is kind of what I was making back then, five bucks a month, right? Expenses are right here because it deducted, you know, prop. Did you include property tax? So yeah, so this is what I was making, 500 bucks. You guys like that? 500 bucks a month? Is that, does that help at all? Yeah. Like, you know, just extra money? Well, the problem is you paid it in cash flow. We have to finance it, so that's going to hurt us. Well, I mean, David, uh, is there deals out there for 150000 currently? Uh, there's deals in every price range. <laughs> there you go. This was rough back there. This is this is during the time when everybody was just leaving the property. That we had windows boarded up, right? This is back when the uh, this is when the crash, right? Where everybody was just tossing the keys and hey, I'm out, right? So so your your idea or the way you should be looking at it is how much does it cost to build that house? Right? For me, I'm like, probably like sixty thousand dollar house to build. Right? And I'm getting if I'm getting up to thirty thousand, that's a deal. Right? I'll find I'll find a way to get that to thirty six thousand dollars. That's how you should always be looking at deals. So yeah, I mean, two credit cards combine together and buy. It. Right? Sometimes you have to like stick your neck out to uh, go collect rent. <laughs> <laughs> But there's, it's easier now. You know, you just have them go to the bank and do it. Or you need to have them, like, cash out it to you. All right, so you don't have to go there and collect it. So, um, but as far as finding somebody to fix it, that's kind of on your own. 
So yeah, so back then, this is what, how much I was making, right? So let's turn to now, right? So let's say, well, how, if I was to buy this particular deal now, right? And let's go off of whatever Zillow was pricing it with. They're estimating at 240, right? Yeah. Or let's just say the rent. Look how the rent was. Look how the rent increased. So, so let's go back. I mean, it's, it's about 1800 right now. Um, geez. I mean, 1800 right? Um, leave it. Right, it's, this property is pretty clear right now. So I, I don't have a lot right now. So let's say, oh, I keep doing this wrong. Purchase price, closing cost is what, 800 1800 for income. And we can go to property tax, right? Property tax right now. 26, 26.49. Yearly, right? Insurance on this one uh, is about, about 1,200 annual. Uh, I'll keep everything the same because right now I just got done fixing it, so everything's brand new in the house. So there's no nothing that needs to be fixed. AC is probably like a year old. All the appliances are brand new, um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm managing it myself, right? No electricity, blah blah. blah. You know, we just go down the list. This is what you guys can see what it looks like right now if I was to rent it out for eighteen hundred. What do you guys think? Really good. This is just me giving a deal, you know, way back, 2010, right? Uh, I'll show you the list. Oh, I can't do this. This is not my computer. No, it's... Do you guys have any questions? Why are you doing that? Are all homes, no matter what they are, capable of being rented out? Like you mentioned, HOA houses, um, condos. Um, you know, you talked about what, like uh, right now you're doing trailer homes. Like mm -hmm. pretty much anything, everything can be yeah. done with that, or are there restrictions? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a few things. What was the question? Um, are there any restrictions to what you can rent out? Um, like restrictions as in? As in like if you bought a condo or if you bought a house on a, that has a HOA on it, if you bought something that, you know, you want to try to rent it out, is every house able to be rented out? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, check with the city first. Yeah. Some city requires a license. Um, like what two is saying, something requires like fire, fire inspections. So uh, like Florida doesn't have that. Florida is a landlord tenant friendly. So um, we don't care. We don't. You just do whatever you want. There's no you know rent cap on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just one thing to be careful of with lending, especially with condos and HOAs. Condos a lot of times they don't to deter um, investors from investing. They cap um, a certain percentage. So just make sure you check with the um, association, and especially townhouses. There's bylaws in there that have restrictions too. So if you're buying a townhouse, just make sure you get a handle of the, you know, get a hold of the bylaws to make sure you know whether or not you can let that out. Yeah, I can't get to, uh, I can't get to Facebook here from here, guys. Sorry. So I do all my marketing on Facebook. Um, I list my properties on Facebook, so I can't. Can't log in on this computer. It's not my computer, um, and the connections are, are actually different. So um, just have to trust me on this. <laughs> but right now the market is so hot right now for uh, renters. So I wanted to show you what it looks like. Uh, I can't log in Facebook, you know. So 
Um, we'll have to skip that part, but we can just talk about the money part, right? So, so let's just go talk about, let's say, hey, if you were to buy this, just like if you were to rent, uh, like if you were to put a loan on it, right? So this is just cash, right? So right now I have free, free and clear. I have so much equity on this property, right? Because it's free, free and clear, right? So I mean, if I need to, I can liquidate this, right? So hey, Linda, what if I was to liquidate this? How much percentage would you, would you guys let? Well, that you're saying that can pull out. Um, like David was saying, you can on a line of credit, you could go all, all the way up to hundred. Wow. So guys, that's two hundred forty thousand. I mean, I can do a lot with that, right? So how much can I buy with two hundred forty thousand? You do your cash offer. There you go. <laughs> Bingo. Right. Or you could use it as a down payment on several properties. Yep. You guys get that? Dude, this is like valuable information. How do you win deals? What was the first thing he says? Cash. Cash, cash offer. Buy it with cash and then do what? The Tuesday. Yeah. Refi it out, right? Because now you're locking the deal. Now you have control of that deal. Um, Linda, what was the, how much, 100%, what, if I was to do it traditionally, how much can I get out of it? Traditionally, I think they go up to, are you doing cash out? Yeah. 75%. 75%, right? So I can pull 180,000 out. Can you do a lot with that? And it's uh, tax free too, right? Yeah, right, Linda? It's tax deductible. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's not tax free. <laughs> <laughs> it's free! Government doesn't like giving out free stuff, right? They're going to get you somewhere down the road, right? So let's say, what can I do with 180000 I can leverage it to buy what? Three times how much? Right, Linda? So I can buy what? 540,000 property? You guys see that? How, how I'm able to scale? So if I, which I'm gonna do with this deal, guys. Right, but I'm not buying something like another property like this. I'm, I'm buying more, right? Maybe something over, you know, 300 units at this point. So now I'm trying to partner with other people to buy something more. So you guys understand? I mean, I want to stop here. You guys understand that part? All right, so let's go back to something simple. Like, hey, Chai, Ch I don't have 36,000. You know, I don't want to do this. I just want to buy something that's in a good neighborhood that, you know, uh, I don't want to be scared of collecting rent and stuff like that, right? So let's let's go ahead and do something like that. So let's go ahead and edit this, right? So we go back to the same property. We go in, I have to purchase price on that. It's probably going to be about 240,000, right? So we'll go 240,000. We'll just, we'll just go market, right? Market price. Uh, the closing cost on that is going to be $240,000. Right, so what? what was that again? 2%. This is about what? Let's just 4800 Let's just say 5000 Right? Uh, we'll keep everything. It's not. It's not cash. No only cash. I'm gonna put in twenty percent. Um, I used to be twenty percent, but you guys, this is what three percent? What was it? I thought it wasn't that three percent. Was it uh, two? Uh, was it three point five now? Or something like that? Yeah. So. Five and what's the current rate? Um, Linda, you said four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half percent. Uh, points charged. Sometimes you're you're you know you can pay for uh, they charge points and stuff. We'll keep it at zero. You guys still you guys see that a lot as far as points charged for uh, loans? Yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of um, borrowers who are. 
savvy with their finances, they like to buy down. Okay, so what are you seeing? Like one, two? Yeah, typically one percent. One? Okay, we can do one. And it's usually 30 years, right? All right, so 1800, right? Keep everything sane. Right now it's going for 1800. Okay. Go down. Property tax was right. You know, insurance was right. Uh, we can keep everything the same here. Uh, I'm going to manage it myself. Everything else is consistent. What do you guys think? Is this a good deal now? There's no renovation that's going to be done? No, I'm already, yeah, I'm already fixed it up. Sorry. Do we use the mirror that day we're actually going to have fix it up? Uh, we can, but let's just Why don't yeah. we run this scenario first and then do the rehab after? Um, we can, but let's just, yeah, let's just focus. I don't know if we have enough time, but we're like, at, we're close to like 20 minutes until. What's up, John? We got 2.30? 2.30. Okay, so yeah. And I want to hit some of your questions here too, so we can kind of just dabble it. I'm going to do two scenarios so you guys can see. So what do you guys think? Is this a good deal now? I say no. No? We got a no, we got, we got a yes? All right, let's say, you guys still, you're still lost, right? <laughs> is this hard or is this easy? It's just like minuses and there's no divide and stuff. But let's take a look. Let's go back up. Is there is it negative? Uh, something's wrong. <laughs> Income is seventeen hundred per month. Maybe I put it too much. Oh no no okay yeah right here. I can't see the screen guys. Sorry. It's so bright. Maybe I can dim it. Let me dim it down. Making per month now is that you guys still like that number? Yeah, you guys like the other number, but what do you guys think the normal average investor look, is looking for as far as monthly cash flow? Not sure on the amount, but then around fifteen percent. Well, as far as cash flow. Okay. Yeah. Two hundred bucks per door. Two hundred bucks per door. Yep. The average investor is looking at this for 200 bucks minimum, just to say that's a good deal. So, does it meet the requirements? No. What was two doing? 500 bucks a door. <laughs> that's why I was like, holy cow! That, what does that mean? He's found a great deal, right? That's, that's what he means. So when, when, you, when, you, when people start, when you get in this game, you start asking how much you're making per door. Per door means how much you're making per that property. You know, you can already say, hey, dude, how much? Five bucks. Oh, man, you have a great deal. You know, if it's 200 bucks, we know, okay, that's, that's about, that's good. You know, that's, that's good. That's about average what everybody's making, right? The next thing what we, do, what we look at is if I, put, if I put everything down, which is, you know, um, Total cash needed, right? Which is the down payment uh, of three uh, percent, including the closing cost, which is total cash needed was fifteen thousand. Uh, how much do I get that back annually? Well, we get about eleven percent, right? And uh, someone was saying, what, fifteen percent? Oh yeah, yeah, fifteen percent is pretty high, but if you get fifteen percent, that's pretty good. But right now. Everybody's looking at eight percent because right now the market is so tight right now. So what does this mean? You guys know what this means? Cash on cash return. Remember I was talking about the fifty percent cash on cash with two. You guys remember that conversation? How if, if he gets fifty percent cash on cash, it just takes him two years to get all that money back, right? This is what this is what we're looking at right here. How long does it take to get? All my money back. So if it's ten percent, you know. So it's one forty-three per month. So if you go back to the, the numbers down here, so this is how much you get per year, right? So it's about ten years, right? 
one, seven, two, three times ten years. Seventeen thousand. How 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 long how long does it take me to give my money back? This is how much I put down. Ten years. Are you guys still okay with that? I'm getting my money back, right? What, what did we talk about earlier as far as uh, um, uh, unlimited returns? Do you guys remember that conversation? Infinite, yeah. Uh, infinite, uh, infinite. <laughs> yeah, infinite, or well, the same thing, right? Unlimited, <laughs> right? It's when, if you can get your money back, what happens? Is this a free and clear? Your, your money's out of the game, and this is still producing you money, which is this per month. Right? That's the secret of real estate right here. Is that how fast can I get my money out before I can actually be using it to get something else? So what's the what's the average? Fifteen percent, he says fifteen percent is pretty high. Like eight percent is uh, kind of like normal right now. Um, you know, that's just up to you, but you want to be where everybody's at. Is like 8%. You can't, don't go any lower. That's kind of where everybody's shooting for at this point. That's what the market is giving us, right? So if it's 8%, oh man, it's a big longer, right? So the higher, the, the quicker. Um, and, and I, I mean, I mean, people think this is a good deal for them. Can you put up with a tenant that gives you? Cash flow <laughs> of 143 a month. That's the that's the real question to you, right? Can you put up with that? So just to recap, are you saying that it's going to take about nine and a half? Uh, yeah. Say nine years to get your money back, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're going to go 143 dollars a month, say something goes wrong, you can have to fix it. It uh, it goes back to then. It, Keep waiting to think just on the. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you? What else are you waiting to think on to make money off of that? So let me give you an example, right? How much is, is it? Equity or, or what else? Yeah, equity. But you you look to think off like you know ten years to get that money back. To me, it's small. But this yeah, is just to, to, this yeah. is just to, for you beginners, right? I mean, to me, this is small now. This is small game for me. But for you beginners, this is just so you guys can see how the, how the numbers work, right? So, so in a year, you get almost two thousand dollars. Is that enough for you to put up with tenants and stuff like that? No, right? That's like pennies, right? How much an eviction costs? Like seven thousand, right? But you know, sometimes you need to get in the game. Maybe this is how this is how it works. You know, I'll show you guys what my Instrumental looks like. You guys want to see that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that—that's a whole new game. Okay, this is my 2019, right? 2019 uh, uh, numbers. This is how much I'm, I'm making for. Right? 25% cash on cash. What does that mean? Four years. Four years I get my money back. Right? How much did I put down? This much. You guys see that? I put 68000 That included the down payment and that included. That's 20% down payment. Uh, if you guys really want to see the numbers, uh, the house was 29 And I'll do the numbers here. I'll, I'll show it to you guys there. With uh, a cool, right? And I hate cool. I already knew the answer, right? But I wanted to see his reaction, right? 
said, hey, cool, interest rate went up uh, the other day. What do you think happens? And I see that smile on his face, and I don't really know, right? Because when interest rate goes up, your value goes up, right? So this is gonna be worth it. That's all I'm saying. So we bought this back in what? Here, 2018, for 300,000, right? So we go back and do the math. 299, right? Closing cost is 2%. This is the actual number. 20% um, down, right? You see that? My interest rate was 5, 5, 5.5% for 30 years because an investment is higher. Uh, that's because I have so much property that they think I'm at risk so they make it higher for me. And that's just something that you just have to accept. Like your first one, your first four, they might give you a little break. But like once you start owning a lot, Somehow they think you're a, you're a risk factor. So monthly, my growth monthly income was about 5,000, right? So we can kind of do that. So this is an Airbnb, Airbnb rental, 49, 100, divided by, let's just say 21 days, right? So I rent, so let's say I rent 21 days out of a month, right? So that's about $235 per day for renting, you know, my house. For 21 days, you know, so in property tax and insurance, you know, my, my my repairs, I save up for repairs, capital expenditures. I manage it myself. I pay for electricity, which is like 500 dollars. Water is like 140. Uh, there's HOA fees because I have a guard that I'm paying to watch, you know, people who come in and out. Uh, I'm calculating all these other fees. Like there's a pool, so. You know, I'm paying for food to come clean. I'm paying for cable so they can watch TV at the house. Uh, there's a fee to list it on um, like Airbnb or like Verbal here. Verbal is like another platform. It's for two dollars. So then you put all that information in, update it, and it throws you that number. So remember how we were talking about like how much you can make. Minimum investors, what they look at on a, on a single property, about two hundred, right? What is this one producing? A lot more? How many times over track? That's seven times more. Right? I, it's, you want the speed to make money faster. So you gotta find the, the right vehicle. And in real estate investing, there's like so many. Dave, do you remember how many different strategies in a real estate uh, investing? Like 45 or like for financing? No, just like investing, like kind of like wholesaling, flipping, buy and hold. There's like there's a lot of them. Huh? I think it's yeah, there's around like 45, but there's more. There's more. Those are just like the main ones. Yeah. yeah. There's so many different ways, but this is only one way. Right? So if you want to make fast money, there's many other ways to do it. This is just Airbnb. Right guys? So uh Four years to get my money back, and what did I do? What, do you, what would you guys do after you get this? Huh? What if you have five Airbnb? <laughs> like me. How much are you making up now? So this is about how much I'm making like per month, guys. Probably more now, because this is back in 2019. So, you guys want to say how much money? This is uh, this is net right here. You guys want to see how much that grows on me? Yeah. Is that your is that your father? <laughs> <laughs> It's their computer. I, I can't log in because there's so many. Um, type of stuff. Do you have any Yeah, I got a W two. Yeah. So. Well, you manage your property. I do. So yeah, I, I do third shift, and then during daytime, I just kind of manage it, and then it's not that hard, guys. I mean, unless you can't really do anything, you don't want to do it. It's not that hard. That's why I was pressuring too. Like, is it really hard? Is it really tenants and toilets? 
No, because no, he's probably replaced one foot in. You know, probably a, like a fast one. I probably replaced like, yeah, I only replaced one toilet out of my my whole time ever. It's not that bad. You know, plumbing doesn't work. I mean, to me, plumbing, I don't have any plumbing issues at all. I have an AC go bad because Florida, we use AC like pretty much every day. So, um, yeah, that's how it works. So, um, does this make kind of sense to you guys? Yeah. You guys kind of kind of see this? Okay, now anybody got a deal? Yeah. Are, are you going to tell us? Yeah. How much you make? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see it right here, right? Tell us. Oh, that's oh, that's going to be total. This is for a month. But this property back in 2019. I make more now. Because, you know, prices gone up. So, if you guys were looking at it earlier, right? What was, what was I saying? It's uh, 439. Uh, oh man, it's um, four nine four zero, and this is how we do a calculation for a. Um, it's about two hundred thirty five bucks a night. Uh, I'm, I'm close to like three twenty nine sometimes. Sometimes, depending on the season. Okay. So anybody got a deal? Anybody got access? What do you look at? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, what is the main address? Main Tower. 1901 Park Street? Clark Street. Clark. Clark. Is it? Uh -huh. All right. So, let's do a deal. to you earlier when you were talking about like the numbers yeah. if you do this and you see that it's positive then when you show this to the bank they're gonna be like oh yes you're making money because you already you already did calculations okay so we can look at this deal is it is, is this right uh, and then is this, what is it listing, is it listing for anything, or is this, I just, it's not listed for sale, right? No. Okay, so, all right, so, can we go off this number, 95? Yeah. Okay, so let's just go here. So it's 95, right, purchase codes and costs, let's just do the math. Nine five seven three zero point zero two. Let's just say two thousand, right? Two thousand four hundred. Uh, are you planning on putting? No. How much down? Zero down. Zero down payment. Yeah. Cash. Uh -huh. Okay, you're gonna cash it, right? Okay. How much do you think the rent is? Huh? Yep. Yeah. Eight hundred. So nine hundred each. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let me add one to that. The best tax strategy is have a good CPA. You don't even need to worry about taxes. Yeah. Just have a good CPA. That, that's the best tax strategy. How many people got a CPA? How much are you guys paying? Two thousand, four thousand. I pay my eight thousand. That's how much my every year. Every year. Every year. Yeah. And they save you twice as much at least, right? Oh yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I pay my eight thousand. So just so you guys know. So um, yeah, at first I was like, what? <laughs> But you write it off too. You write them off, the 8,000 we made right now too. Uh, house policy. Where's that? Mm -hmm. 
think this was part of the uh, what what rules requirements for for rental. Um, but all right, how much to invest? Where's that? I just say your portfolio. So your your majority of yours is in real estate, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you mean how much I put down? No, how much you have invested into real estate? That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, wrong. There's some people like you said, you stock, you do other things too. Yeah. And you don't throw all your money in one egg, right? I'm all in on percent on real estate. Oh, you are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I took money. I cashed out my 401k. Yeah. I took the hit on on the taxes just to buy real estate. Wow. Yeah. And I took it to buy my Airbnb. Yeah. Look what they have now. So, uh, Burr, uh, two, you know, two talks about it. Dave talks about it too. So this is something that we, you know, this is something that we do. Um, interest rate, what's that? So interest rates went up, guys, right? So like I said, it's gonna be, it's a good thing if you have some. If you don't, get in on it. Cause what? It's going up again, right? What are we? What are we forecasting? Six, six way up heights. No, it doesn't matter, right? So, contractors. We talked about contractors, right? Contractors. How do you find contractors? Network. Right? Network with people. You already network too. You just got con you need to email those contractors, um, and that's how you build your contractors. When to sell? Who has that? Yeah, just whenever, whenever you're ready. Uh, how to screen tenants. Oh man. Uh, there's a whole course on that too, but uh, ultimately, always pull the credit. I didn't do it, I got hit a couple times with the bad guys. Um, screen tenants, uh, pull the credit report so you can see if you're spending patterns, right? So when you do that, when you pull the credit report, they actually give you like a report on it. Like, credit card payments and stuff and their loan, the car loan payments and stuff, so you can see how they're missing it. So if they're missing car loan payments along the way, then you know they're struggling. If they're not missing, you see that they are constantly then you know they're they're gonna pay your rent as well. So that kind of stuff. Uh, new construction. Who is that? Alright. New construction that's a whole new different thing. Property management um, how to find them? You can just Google it. Um, they're all over the place. Partnership, who has that? Partnership kind of goes along with syndication, with the different rules. So, um, yeah, be careful with that. Unless it's just family and you guys really trust each other. But, uh, I wouldn't mix family with this one anyways. It's kind of weird. Uh, cash flow, we talk about cash flow, right? How much, how much do you expect on a rental? What was it on average? 200. 200. What's the cash on cash? 8%. Oh, 8% right now. You know, the more the better. All right, LLC, who's got questions on LLCs? Oh, I do. Yeah. Is it better to invest as an individual or should you set up a LLC? Like protect yourself too, or so I know the lawyers they scare you with that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have this house, people will come after you, but nobody's got after. I've never had anybody come after me, <laughs> you know. But that's how lawyers make money, they make money through creating these LLCs, right? But, but maybe one day you might be hit. We don't know, I mean, I don't know, but. There's other types of way. So if you're just like one property or you know just five properties and maybe you know I, I would say don't get it yet, right? There's other ways to protect yourself like insurance, right? Increase your insurance probably for you know, like an insurance. So instead of like you know two hundred thousand, I don't know what was it? What's the going rate over here? For what? For liability. A hundred thousand. hundred thousand. Yeah. So increase it. You know. So if somebody gets hurt. Um, or I don't know, hundred thousand pretty much covers a lot of stuff, you know. 
And then you can stack on top like an umbrella policy, right? A million dollar umbrella policy. So that protects you for any huge lawsuits along with it as well. But once you have like um, something bigger, like uh, like eight million, right? Then yeah, you know, get it out, put that in the LLC. The banks will tell you something like bigger like that. They will tell, they will tell you. Um, but if you just had like ten, I wouldn't even do it. Right? It's just the, the the headache behind that is if you have an LLC and you're trying to get a loan, that's harder. It costs more. And then the insurance company, when they look at you, oh, you got an LLC? Oh, we're going to charge you more. So there's just more fees on top of that. Every year you have to renew your LLC documentations. So then that, that's just like. Okay. Is it, is it? Let me add one to that. The best tax strategy is have a good CPA. You don't even need, need to worry about taxes. Yeah. Just have a good CPA. That, that's the best tax strategy. How many people got a CPA? How much are you guys paying? 2000 4000 I pay my eight thousand. That's how much my year. Every year. Every year. Yeah. And they save twice as much at least, right? Oh yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I pay my eight thousand. So just so you guys know. So um, yeah, at first I was like, what? <laughs> but you write it off too. You write them off the eight thousand we write off too. Uh, house policy. What's that? I think this was part of the uh, what what rules requirements for for rental. Um, but all right, how much to invest? What's that? I just say your portfolio. So your your majority of yours is in real estate, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you mean how much I put down? No, how much you have invested in your real estate? That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh. Wrong. Because people, like you said, you stock and you other things. I'm all in 100% on real estate. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I took money, I cashed out my 401k. Yeah. I took the hit on, on the taxes just to buy real estate. Wow. Yeah. And I took it to buy my Airbnb. Yeah. Look what you're at now. So, uh, Burr, uh, two, you know, two talks about it. David talks about it too, so this is something that we, you know, this is something that we do. Um, interest rate, what's that? So interest rates are going up, guys, right? So, like I said, it's going to be, it's a good thing if you have something. If you don't, get in on it, because what? It's going up again, right? What are we, what are we forecasting? Six, six way up, heights? No, then it's not, right? So. Contractors, we talked about contractors, right? Contractors, how do you find contractors? Network, right? Network with people, they're a network too. You just got con you need those contractors. Um, and that's how you build your contractors. When to sell, who has that? Yeah, just whenever, whenever you're ready. Uh, how to screen tenants, oh man. Uh, there's a whole course on that too, but uh, ultimately, always pull the credit. I didn't do it. I got hit a couple times with the bad guys. Um, screen your tenants, uh, pull the credit report so you can see if you're spending patterns, right? So when you do that, when you pull the credit report, they actually give you like a report on the, the credit card payments and stuff and their loan, the car loan payments and stuff, so you can see how they're missing it. So if they're missing, car loan payments along the way, then you know they're struggling. If they're not missing, you see that oh, they're constantly paying, then you know, they're, they're going to pay your rent as well. So that kind of stuff. Um, new construction, who is that? All right. New construction, that's a whole new different thing. Property management, um, how to find them? You can just Google it. They're all over the place. Partnership, who has that? Partnership kind of goes along with syndication, with different rules. So, um, yeah, be careful with that. Unless it's just family and you guys really trust each other. 
that uh, I wouldn't mix kale with this in many ways. It's kind of weird. Uh, cash flow, we talk about cash flow, right? How much do how much you expect on a rental? What was it? On average? 200. 200. What's the cash on cash? 8%. Oh, 8% right now. You know, the more the better. All right, LLC. Who's got questions on LLCs? Oh, I do. Yeah. Is it better to invest as an individual or should you set up a LLC to like, protect yourself too? Or? So, I know the lawyers, they scare you with that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have this house. People will come after you. But nobody's got after. I've never had anybody come after me. <laughs> you know? Because that's how lawyers make money. They make money through creating these LLCs, right? But, but maybe one day you might be hit. We don't know. I mean, I don't know. But there's other types of way. So if you're just like one property or, you know, just five properties and maybe, you know, I, I would say don't get it yet, right? There's other ways to protect yourself, like insurance, right? Increase your insurance property for you know, like an insurance. So instead of like, you know, 200,000, I don't know, what was it? What's the going rate over here? For what? For liability? 100,000. 100,000? Yeah. So increase it. You know, so somebody gets hurt, um, or I don't know, hundred thousand pretty much covers a lot of stuff, you know. And then you can stack on top like an umbrella policy, right? A million dollar umbrella policy, so that protects you for any huge lawsuits along with it as well. But once you have like um, something bigger, like um, like an eight unit. Right? I think, yeah, you know, get it out, put that in the LLC. The banks will tell you, something like bigger like that, they will, they'll, they'll tell you. Um, but if you just had like 10, I wouldn't even do it. Right? It's just, the, the, the headache behind that is, if you have an LLC and you're trying to get a loan, that's harder, it costs more. And then the insurance company, when they look at you, oh, you got an LLC? Oh, we're gonna charge you more. So there's just more fees on top of that. Every year you have to renew your LLC documentations, so then that, that's just like, that's the only way to network with other people. Is he coming down there? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, don't, I can't see it. So, okay. yeah, but I got, I already got two guests here down there. Uh, they're all millionaires. But we're gonna do a workshop, right? Uh, the whole cruise again? <clears throat> yep. Okay. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do a, a workshop for stocks uh, investing, and we're gonna do a workshop on real estate investing. And then uh, we'll bring them in for the mindset of uh, the millionaire. And, uh, and I do that just so you guys can network with them, so you can create these connections. And if the people are coming, are you know they want the same stuff. So you want to be around the same people that is going to take you further. So like I said, I was, I was talking to him yesterday. He gave me tons of knowledge that I know that's going to take me. I'm excited to get home at this point, just to tell my wife how we're going to do this. So, um, that's it guys. Appreciate you guys staying to the end. I see what I'm doing, man. I feel so blessed. I have a lot of that. Yeah. Maybe it's too much for all that stuff. Is it tougher now? I can see more. Okay. I'm busy. I hear you. That's why I was like,
Is it um, more of a, is it tougher now? Yeah. Yeah. So it's the kind of thing. Okay. I hear you. That's why I was like, you're like, no more commitments. <laughs>